Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got for Christmas and my birthday. My birthday is three days before Christmas. So some of these are birthday gifts and some of them are Christmas gifts, but I'm just going to show you them by person. I've been waiting for all of my gifts to get here in order to film this video, but I'm pretty sure I have all of them now. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first two gifts I have to show you came from a lovely pen pal of mine. She sent me a $25 Barnes & Noble gift card and it was a complete surprise and I'm super, super grateful for that. So I got a certain slant of light by Laura Whitcomb. All I know is that this follows a ghost who I think falls in love with a boy that's alive and kind of follows their story, I think. And I got its sequel, which is Under the Light. The next book I have came from my lovely co-worker, Michelle, and that is The Roses of May by Dot Hutchison. I think this takes place in a town where after each winter they find a frozen body and they're trying to figure out who it is that's killing all these women. So next up I have three gifts from my friend Kenny. So first he got me this art print. I don't know if you can tell but there's actually foil in her scales. I forgot the artist's name but I am going to include it down here. So it didn't come with the frame but every time I get an art print I immediately buy the frame right after so I am so happy she's in a frame now. I'm obsessed with mermaids and I can't wait to put her up on my wall. Next up he got me Odd and True by Kat Winters. I've been eyeballing this book forever. This cover is gorgeous. It looks like it's going to be a dark story. And he also gave me Uncanny by David McKinnis Gill. I saw this at Barnes and Noble and just immediately fell in love with this cover. I don't think I've seen anything like it and it's a pretty big book so I'm pretty excited to read it and find out what it's about because once again I have no idea what it's about. So this next thing came from my cousin and it's called Prada Candy. It came with a perfume body cream and a body lotion. So the next few presents came from my parents. They got me this beautiful set of brushes and a mirror and some hair ties, which are super handy because I just lost my hairbrush and I had to use one of these. They got me this beautiful black shirt. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm obsessed with lace, so I'm pretty in love with it. So they also got me a laptop, which is insane because I've been dreaming of owning a laptop ever since I started writing my novel. It's pretty surreal and it's all the way on the other side of the room so I'm not really gonna go get it but of course I freaked out about it so that means that I am gonna sit down and plot this novel because it's been in my head for years I think almost a decade now basically my writing is not as fast as my typing so I had to wait until I had my laptop and now I have it and I'm so excited they also got me some PJs and some slippers, but they're also on the other side of the room, so. Next up, I have some gifts from my little sister. It's Beauty and the Beast is my favorite fairy tale of all time. And my little sister knows this, so she got me Belle and Beast from Beauty and the Beast, and they are so adorable, and I am died inside when I saw them. I've never seen them before in my life, and I'm so happy I have them now. Here's a close-up shot. And following along in the Beauty and the Beast theme, she got me the jewelry box. I'm sorry if you can't really see it. And it comes with the ring. And it also plays a little bit of the song. I just get chills whenever I hear that. Next up, I got some free gifts from Sephora and Ulta. They give out free birthday gifts and I love makeup so I make it a tradition to go there every year. So from Sephora I got some Tarte blush and lip paint and from Ulta I got this superhero mascara from IT Cosmetics. So this next gift came from one of my managers and she made these adorable pine cone ornaments. I love my managers they are so sweet to me and I was so honored to get a gift from her. Speaking of managers, we had a secret Santa exchange at work and one of my managers got my name. She gave me Living at the Edge of the World by Jamie Pastor Bonick and Tina S. 
This is a nonfiction about these people who live in the train tunnels and it's basically their story about what happens down there. It's deeply cherished by my manager so I'm pretty honored that she gave this to me and I can't wait to read it. This next gift came from my cousin and her husband. They got me some hand cream, a two-in-one eyeliner and mascara, and some black lipstick. Next, I got some amazing packages from my best friend Sandra, who is Sandra the Bookworm over on Instagram. She's basically one of the sweetest people I've ever met, and if you aren't already following her, I suggest you do. She sent me the bobblehead of Hela. Hela and Loki are basically my favorite Marvel characters ever, so I'm excited to own her. But Sandra also sent me a Loki keychain. I'm so excited because I collect keychains. He's gonna go in my car right away. So in the comics, Hela is actually Loki's daughter. So I have the father and the daughter in my hands now. She also sent me this other beautiful keychain and this package full of books. She sent me, this is where it ends, by an author name that I can't pronounce. And we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. And then we have The Becoming of Noah Shaw. If you haven't heard about this one, this one is actually a companion series to the Merit Dyer trilogy. I'm so excited to read this. I have yet to read the third book in the Merit Dyer trilogy, but I just got it and I can't wait to read it so I can read this one. I love this cover. I don't know. There's just something about it that just gives me like a calming vibe. I don't know. Is it just me? And then lastly, she sent me an early review copy of The Dead House. Whew, can't even tell you guys how much this book means to me. I own a finished copy, but I'm a collector, so I'm trying to collect every copy I can of this book. I read this on Christmas 2016, and I don't know if it's the setting where I read it. I read it during a road trip to the Bay Area to Casa de Fruta. It's this place that we've been going to since I was a child. It's really dear to my heart. Every time I'm in there, I have this burst of happiness. I love exploring abandoned places and the thing about this park is that there are abandoned vehicles lined up all around the park and you basically just explore on your own. But anyway, I'm rambling. I read this book while I was there. I'll link the park down below. If you're ever close to the area, I highly suggest you go check it out. If I can find some pictures, I'll put them up here so you can see what I'm talking about. I can't describe the feeling that this book gives me every time I see it or hear about it. One of my top favorite books of all time. Sorry guys, but it's actually the day after that I filmed the previous footage. As I was editing the video, I found out that the rest of my footage was kind of wonky and out of sync. So here I am filming it all over again. All I have left to show you are the gifts that I got from my brother. So here we go. He gave me this amazing hoodie that I have not stopped wearing ever since he gave it to me. It basically has the Ouija board on it and Egyptian kind of symbols all over it. Two things that I love the most together in one and last but not least he got me fairy tale keys it basically follows Lucy as she's trying to gather up keys that represent different characters and horoscope to help her fight villains this is my second favorite anime of all time following soul eater so this is pretty exciting i've been busting over these keys for years here we have happy and clara and gray my boyfriend Lucy, Natsu, and Urza. We have some fan art of Lucy on the back. And when you open it, there are all the keys. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. It also came with a key ring and some chains to make these guys into necklaces, which I'm so excited to wear. As you can see, each key represents a different horoscope. And then these guys are different characters. I'm so in love with this. Each key has its own weight to it as well. If you haven't watched this anime yet, I highly recommend it. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to every single person that gave me gifts this past year. Let me know what you got for the holidays or for your birthday last year because I would really like to know. And if you have a favorite anime yourself, I'm gonna go eat and get ready for work. So I'll see you next time, guys.